Hello, it's your girl Wade. Did you miss me? I missed you too. Okay, so you're wondering why is this girl on NYC uniform? <laughs> I saw I find myself for oh, your stories like Ade, you're fat, you're not chubby, you see the stretch mark, <laughs> not lie. See this clothes, now me wear them for 2019, 2020. And I feel so nice. I feel so good wearing it again. Okay, so don't, don't even feel like Am I actually doing the receipt of being a copper? No. I just want to give you amiibo. I want to give you gist of the matter. And what's the gist of the matter? Hey, every bad thing I did during my youth service. I want to blow it up your head. <laughs> Are you ready to listen to me? Let's ride. But before then, we need to be very serious. So what does NYSC stand for? Of course, like in the last video that I did concerning Nigeria, I made you to understand that Nigeria is found in West Africa and she's known as the giant of Africa. So NYC simply stands for the National Youth Service Corps. Call yes, yeah, C O R P. So for me that very what is that system? I call no be cop. Call say C O R P. And then it was actually established in the year 1973, 22nd of May to be precise, under the military regime of General Yakubu Gowon, and why was it actually established for national unity and cohesion? So I can decide to wake up tomorrow and tell my father, Baba, I know I'm married with man again. Now, I also want go say, Man, I can't. I'm booking my friend. I can decide to go for the <laughs> evil side. I have an evil friend that usually calls me a boy or bad character. I don't know if really I have a bad character, but whatever it is, NYC has actually helped every one of us to relate and integrate with every other tribe. In Nigeria so fast forward to exactly where I sat first of all I actually sat in the boy state and how did I become a human being that sat in the boy state after the graduating list would come out in 2019 of course I was not expecting anything less I came up with a two word yes from prestigious University of learning better by far I studied history and international studies that's no longer news for us and then I was wondering where would I start and there was this particular friend of my brother, his name was Todi Muden. He told me he sat in Ebony State. Yeah, Ebony State slogan is the salt of the nation. So I had always wanted to go far away from home. Although I had this fear one time that should I really go far? Because I love my daddy. Yes, I'm a daddy gay. I love my mommy too. We usually fight, but I didn't really want to go far off. And then I, I tried, um, you know, doing the old registration quickly and early as possible. By the end of the day, I was not given any southwest region. The only thing that opened on to me was, I think, Bono, Anambra, <laughs> Adamawa, Evoy. And as I see Evoy, and I know person we don't go Evoy before, I had those people, you know, do what? I clicked on Evoy. And here we have, we are actually, um, making preparations to get to everybody getting the socks getting the white on white like the otondo white fowl and also getting ready all that necessities first of all today we are going to be traveling hey i love traveling no i like adventure but this one i did not like the kind of adventure funny enough we're uh, mostly you know not right in the bus as we are going we're making noise no man i say expression tv <laughs> we're making noise we're you know making jabs or Taking jabs at people outside the bus. More or less, I've had anxiety towards how the journey was going to look like. We are going to hear more. So, we're throwing jabs at people on the road. More or less, I already had anxiety for the journey. Like, we are going to Airborne State. How would we get there? What would we see on the road? Funny enough, I saw Rivers. I got to know what Jeba was like. I got to know what Kogi was like. And they were whistling. Whistling at. On the way, I actually slept. I really wouldn't know. I wish I had a video of what I did in the bus back then. And then fast forward to when we go to Enugu. That's why I love family, man. Because of my driver. Hey, I want to get married, like, really right now. If you are looking at me, I feel I fit. I fit your spec as your wife. <laughs> but then coming to my DM. Hmm, I can see the face of my videographer right now. Like, if I cash you. <laughs> So that's why I love family man. The man, family man, he just told us when we got to Enugu around that, you see, after it, it was like he does not have strength to do the night driving. That like he cannot drive the night, that he has kids at home. <laughs> In our heart, we are laughing. We don't use it in our exuberance. We are just laughing at the man. But we wanted to get to our destination quickly. But at the end of the day, we just had to sleep at Peace Mass Transit. Uh, garage in Enugu and then I didn't end up sleeping no. the other guys were sleeping I can still remember Isaac Toby Isaac Toby <laughs> they were just doing nonsense that night yeah I was speaking in tongues if you're about this I'm alone 
and then the next day we did not even brush our teeth quickly we are off the road and finally we got to afiko mcgregor camp i can't even remember this thing i don't even know your answer hey <laughs> yes afiko mcgregor camp and when we got there immediately okay the plan was to get there a, a night before the first day of the camp but because our driver could not actually drive at night we had to sleep we stopped over at Enugu and then that very morning when we got to our people, we we're just trying to get a bed space. We never bath, we never brush you. We we're trying to get the clothes, trying to do registration. If you were HIV positive, if you were pregnant and you had to go back, some of those credentials and all. So we we're trying to get a very good bed space that is befitting that will not have issue. Not knowing that camp is another thing on its own. So I wanted to get um the a shoe size that is fitting for my small leg. At the end of the day, they'll give me size uh, shape size 12 for me. And I wanted size 6 or size 8. I ended up I ended up exchanging with like three different people. And at the end of the day, I still did not get my size since I left that a people camp. So I had to make do whatever I wanted to make do with. So quickly we're having pictures. You can see the pictures on the screen. Pictures of me and my camp mates who were in a low right. And then I joined the NCCF, the Nigeria Christian Copper Fellowship. There I began to show my skills. In drama one thing I did not like in that camp is that they were serving me on my day they were serving me bread and boiled egg hey! on my sofa I suffer in that camp you know my mom was like because my brother had gone like a year before mom was like if your brother could do well of course you'll be fine oh shut up but they're telling you you know you're not as like a spoiled brat so we already packed my things I was not a beverage person so I did not carry me or any other thing like that but thank you for mommy markets on my shopping don't you I shopping don't now my money they go and of course we cash guy now <laughs> I'm not shy I'm not shy really but we cash guy guy that will pay for mommy market and the one that will pay by herself but sincerely that bread and boy they be paint me and our tea was just like water not like I care our tea was just like when they are giving you colored water. But I enjoyed the pap shy. I always, I always looked up to when they give us pap and akara in the morning. But Indomie was the best thing for me at Mami Market. And sometimes didn't jello fries and uh, fried rice. Ha! The soldiers were my friend. You know me, my mom not the carry one place. I was like everywhere, jumpy, and everybody did knew me. And I enjoyed the vibe. The soldiers were my friends. And then I can actually touch a soldier on the scalp and like you to stop on dress me again. I enjoyed every part of the camp. Well, camp did not do me well. The fact that we have to short foot, you know what short foot would know. It's not short foot. We have to defecate in the night. <laughs> Short footing was worse for me, and then you have that stomach upset in the middle of the night. Uh, try not to make the shoulder look. The soldiers know that your light is on because light has to extend to be by 10 p.m. Sincerely, I did not. I did not like that part. Or the fact that you had to wake up very early with a loud trumpet. Not be say rapture the come. Jesus, Jesus trumpet said, as he has said in the book of Thessalonians, that everybody will hear just one big alarm. But the way they'll be putting their own hand in that in that camp, I think more, I think more, you people, I think, I think more potential for me. I don't like it. So I just had to wake like really early, and then you cannot take your bath because of the amatan, because it was that November period, yes. I sometimes I didn't have to take my bath, and then we went for the normal morning exercise, and they called us Otondo. <laughs> They called us white fouls. They called us bloody. I can't even think about all this name. All these foul languages. It's not expected in the Bible as Christians that we have. Please don't be insulting us. Am I even part of the people there? And then there was this lady, the woman with the golden hair. I enjoyed her so much. She was like, the woman with the golden hair. I really, I really appreciate her. I enjoyed her motherhood. Her eats things towards us. Hey, they see my water so thin. I was doing big girl. Big girl, I can not see people's water. But thank God for puppy love. A lot of love has had my eyes. We're fetching water for me. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. No other that fine girl, fine girl feeling. And camp spoils my face. Eh? Camp spoils my face. You see my face. I think I have a video. You've seen it behind. Like my face was. I don't. Even, I don't even know. Maybe the water was ash or something. I just did not understand what was going on then. But my face was nothing. And then it was smelly. There was a smell that was coming. Ah, enough for this. South of the mission states, everybody you know, do me well for that camp, and then the um, the best of this thing in the camp was when I was a soldier. Is it soldier? 
I did. I was one of those people that did. Is it match fast? I don't even know the word they gave. But sure I knew that I matched behind the man that came as a proxy for Governor Umayi then. And even my other brother was proud of me. He said I thought she would, even though he did not teach me anything. But the fact I had a good figure, I mean, my stomach never beat that time. I shall, I shall match. I was holding you flank. <laughs> I was flashing like a good Nigerian. <laughs> Nigerian girl. So, and at the end of the day, we finishing camp with the POP thing, and then I was posted to Abakaliki. I had to rush down to Lagos because I was not feeling so good, and I had to pick my things at Lori because my younger brother refused to carry my luggage home. <laughs> All of us, but and then everybody was so happy to see me. I think I regretted not staying behind because those who stayed behind, they said they had a lot of things doing in the NCCFO. Yes, and then. Fast forward to 2020 January, I got back to Abakaliki and I became an ESCO in NCCF. I became the assistant director and trust me, I was troublesome with my child. Then I got to feature in some movies like The Siege, um, Peacemaker and also other stage drama. Like my nature, you can see, I talk a lot. I'm talking a lot. I like acting a lot. So I have a lot of movies. To my name, so I'm begging you. I love media. If you have any connect, I'm gonna get go connect. See, connect me. I want to be acting. Mm -hmm. I love media. I love screen. And apart from that, I also did some volunteering with some um, computer company. Is that what it's called? My name is Geeky. So, um, Geeky Resources Solution, where I, I did a jingle and advertisement for the company on digital marketing. And also, I worked with Tempo um, Films. I'll be dropping the link down there so that you can be seeing some of, you can see some of the videos I did where I spoke on how to be an actress, how to write, and stuff. And still, right now, I'm still acting. And that's why maybe that's one of the inspo, like the inspiration that made me to start a YouTube channel. So what else did I do in Nabakaliki? I got to taste this there yeah, Opa. Opa is like the opposite of Moi Moi. I can die for Moi Moi, but I hate beans. So that Opa, when I tasted it, I dropped it. But I loved the Yakalaba Moi Moi. It was so wonderful. The fact that we had to go out during Valentine and then speak the word. The, the best of it during my service was the rural rugged if it's not rural it is not rugged if you are there and you are nccf copper you understand what i'm talking about if it is not rural it is not rugged i had a very fine time in abakaliki in the nccf house there sometimes there were some disconnects sometimes i felt like i shouldn't have i should have gotten a room or an apartment for myself and not stay older because that was my first time living with a lot of people like the hostel thing i've always stayed alone but even while i was staying alone i was still the independent human being and then i got into clashes and then we resolved it as as time would go on but it was wonderful the meal thing having to pay for subscription i know that's a lot a whole lot of things i would like to discuss but that's not where the the dish is going eh in in um where the gist gone gone where the gist gone gone is in the abakaliki state house was the mddd family mdd family where we we had the music um, department and the drama department. We were like one family and the people were thinking I was married because of some pictures we were taking. Funny enough, my drama director was a unilaw writer also, so we just clicked. Even though we had troubles in between. I think the, the highest of my breakthrough in in um, in filmmaking was Peacemaker. So you can go check it at Etsyrem TV. And I'll also drop the link so that you go and check my face. Where they were slapping and beating me because of this man. Because of this my mouth and also during one of the monthly clearance It's not even just one. I think about two times like that. I went for monthly clearance My fingerprint was not seen. My my thumbprint was not seen and then I felt like hey This is how my money will go for this money. I was doing good girl. Oh, let's go to PPA at TCK Even though I know it's to go to CDS We are kind of exempted from that CDS thing as far as state house executives and I was not just really interested in it I was not really a social person but when I'm in the midst of people, you will know a day is there. So I was wondering, hey, I will not just get money this month like that. At the end of the day, people, God will always raise up for us. And then, and then, I had to do it the manual way. I, was, I got my money. The way it happened the next month again, that's when I felt like, hey, they are pursuing me. They followed me to a boy state. Me, that my 10 fingers are complete. Oh, then I say, they can't find the print. They can't find my finger in the system. Well, 
Allah she we are here because I was the first take and they started at three thousand naira return. Although the first month I still got the eighteen thousand naira. Afterwards I was living my life. I was not calling daddy. Daddy I need money again. That is why I left him. I told me when you are in service I am done with you. We will not be done with ourselves, daddy. Because after this video you are gonna draw something. <laughs> and then I I took up a special PPA. Ah. I want that woman that my life. Oh. You see all these evil people. I still want to marry you people. I want to see. I want to see the other side of you. Those evil people, they used to have money. I mean, my eyes are open. They know me, they are fat. They know me, they are fat. That woman gave me a while out. But myself, I just dropped it and I was not doing it again. Coincidentally, it was during that COVID period where we had to stay locked down. Stay locked down. But I really enjoyed my, my stay in NCCF. I'm doing a shout out to Rotimi, to Lade, to Devi, <coughs> to Rotimi, to Lade, to Devi, to Preyo, and many other people I won't be able to mention your name there because you remain dear to my heart and scam. If you don't call me, I assume this video I'm not calling me later. <laughs> me and you. 2023. See what I love. Well, I do love you. And I hope you also love this video. I celebrated my birthday doing service. I had to play dress up. I had to look like someone that was married. <laughs> we asked me, she was married. Yeah. We gave you my head. <laughs> it was so funny though. But I did enjoy my, my um youth service. Although I did ask, I do have some regret, like not being so sociable to some extent. But who cares? We're in a wonderful year and I'm enjoying myself. You're enjoying me. We can share the love. We can share the smile. So, all this I'm about I've given you. Don't forget though, NYSC was created for the purpose of national unity and cohesion. So, if you are there, you don't like malans, saboki, but you can buy their ingredients for fried rice. Or you can hit two shikafa. Or you are there, you don't like the galas, you don't like the Biron people, you don't like the Nofe people because they cannot speak your language. My dear, the beauty there is that we can understand ourselves. We can love ourselves. You can you can want to dress up in their cultural attire and feel belong. So it is national unity, please. It is coercion. We need to integrate. We need to love ourselves. And I don't think your people go on has done anything wrong with it. Even there might be some things happening, not no no security enough for the coppers, the fact that they die on the road while coming back. Rest in peace for such people that rest in peace for people that are actually affected. But trust me, I know that. Apart from the alawi that comes with it, many of us youths enjoyed this process. So if you're there, you're thinking of where should I pick? I want to stay near my parents. I want to stay near my girlfriend. I want to stay near my pastor. My dear, if you don't remember, I did that. Hey, your head will carry you too. You will surely get there. You'll see me now. I have here a gorgeous bad character. I have here Undeo. I have heard uh, there's this song. I don't want to disgrace my ancestors here, but it's talking about school. So they'll just forget that. But the best of it is Rura Rugged we never die. Hallelujah. So if you're less than 30, please do fast and finish in school. I come and wear this clothes. It is very honorable. Your friends will call you Kofashan. So if you want to see my face again, you want to know more, you want to feel in this face, please subscribe to my channel. My mom is short, but I still need your subscription. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. If you just came on YouTube and you're passing by and you came across this face, please don't stop there. Don't stop there. Press on the subscription uh, button and put on the notification bell so that you can always receive notifications from me. And if you are returning subscriber, thank you so much. New subscribers, you're always welcome. I'm here to always make you happy. So you understand. So please watch out for the next video and everything about me and everything about history and everything you want to know about history. Whatever it is you want me to do, please make sure you're liking and commenting on the comment section. I love you.